Welcome to the Haunted Antiques Emporium. For those that seek the unique antique. Let's go back, way back, back in time. So Doctor Who, eat your eye out. Dream of Cards TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the like button. Because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Oh no, the weather's a bit rubbish today. So what should we do? Let's review another amazing trading card set. This trading card set was issued by Snapgun. Way back in 1959. It features many celebrities who were popular in the late 1950s and way beyond. It's not the most colourful set in the world, but it came out in the aftermath of World War II. Despite the war having ended more than a decade ago, Britain was still struggling and rationing had only recently ended. Comedians such as Benny Hill, pictured here, were extremely popular, lifting the mood of the nation from those bleak and austere times. Rings a bell. I've never had a Benny Hill card before, so uh, this might be the only one ever issued. Perfect for Hill memorabilia collectors. Hill's infectious cheeky humour, songs and impressions kept him on British television screens for 40 years. He had many high-profile fans, including none other than Charlie Chaplin, Michael Jackson, Burt Reynolds, Michael Caine and Mickey Rooney. Unfortunately, Hill became one of the many comedic victims of the rising wave of British political correctness and alternative com comedy during the late 1980s. Following the cancellation of his show in 1989, Hill's health declined and he died just a few years later. This uh, also covers other British comedians such as Arthur Haynes and a favourite of the royalty, Tommy Trinder. Also in this set are two well-loved comedy actors such as Bernard Breslau, who was a regular uh, on, on the Carry On Films series. And also, we see, eventually, Terry Thomas, famous for his portrayal of disreputable members of the upper class. I bet people enjoyed him. Also... This set includes mega international stars like Connie Francis, the chart-topping female vocalist of the 1950s and 60s. And who else do we have? Oh yes, Pat Boone, who was the second biggest charting artist of the late 1950s, behind only Elvis Presley himself. And who else can we dig out? from this wonderful timeless set Donny Lonnie Donnie <laughs> the king of skiffle who influenced many of the famous British bands in the 1960s who would partake in the British invasion era um, now this set is basically um, divided into two in the first half you have photographic style images like these and then the second half is devoted to these uh, dots of dots where you were encouraged to trace through to reveal your favorite stars <laughs> Okay, so what I'll do is I'll I'll pan through the uh, photographic star ones. There's uh, Di David Whitfield, Arthur Haynes, who I mentioned earlier, uh, John Skeeby, Patricia Driscoll, MacDonald Hobley, Robin Day, Bruce Forsyth, a much-loved 
all round entertainer, British entertainer. Connie Francis, of course. Jack Jackson. Will I be Goddard? Lonnie Donegan again. Breslau. Dickie Henderson. Conrad Phillips. Richard Green. Peggy Mount. Carol Nash. David Kassoff. Kossoff. Uh, Ron Randall. Betty Hill again. Crawford, Pat Boone, Tommy Trinder again, and Terry Thomas, and then of course all the dot to dots. Fantastic set of cards. Doesn't turn up very often. Please feel free to uh, check out my other uh, celebrity related collector's item videos, and I've done a humongous amount of vids on other quirky collectors items thanks for watching bye for now if you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com oh no i'm afraid we've run out of time but just before you go please leave comments up below and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this Subscribe to the track by clicking on the icon up in the sky. A cream of cards TV. <laughs>